Okay, so where we left off in the last video was we had just gotten V4, 5 and V2, 3, 4, 5 and number 2 on the complex circuit problem sheet. Okay, so we finished the most simplified circuit. We finished the second last one and now we were going to go back. So R4, or R4, 5 replaced R4 and R5. R4 and R5 are in parallel, and in parallel, the voltage is the same. So that means V4 and V5 should be equal to V4, 5. So this is going to be 12 volts, and this is going to be 12 volts. And it's because of V4, 5, because there's a few 12 volts there. So when we divide 12 volts by 18 ohms, we get 2 thirds of an amp. And when we divide 12 volts by 9 ohms, we get 4 thirds of an amp. And when we add those together, we get back our 2 amps. Then we go to one, to 2 and 3. Our 2 and our 3 are connected in series, and in series, current is the same. So the current through 2 and the current through 3 should be equal to the current through 2, 3. So the current through 2, 3 was 1 amp, so this is going to be 1 amp, and this is going to be 1 amp. And now we multiply, and we get 8 volts, and we get 4 volts. And these two should add back together to give us 12 volts, and they do. So we've now finished uh, number 2. Number 3 is a little bit different, because this time it's a resistor that I didn't give you. Okay, and so in fourth period today, it had caused some issues to people because they weren't sure what to do. Okay, so we don't know R5, but in the diagram I give you, I give you an I total here. I give you an I, and it's the I total. Okay, so if you have I total and you have V total, you should be able to find R total. Okay, but first how are we going to simplify it? Well, the total current comes from the battery and it splits. So these three branches are in parallel with each other. But in this first branch, one and two are in series. And in the second branch, three and four are in series. So we could put those together separately, one and two, and then three and four. So the first branch would have R12, the second branch would have R34, and the third branch will just have R5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So because 1 and 2 are in parallel, we can get 1, 2 by just adding them. 20 plus 10. This is 30 ohms. And because 3, 4 are also in parallel, we can get R34 by just adding them, 4 plus 6, 10 ohms. Okay, and then we have our V total, we have our I total, so we can get our R total, because our R total is just going to be V total over I total. And so it's going to be 30 volts. This won't go clear for me, sorry, there we go. 30 volts over 10 amps. So our R total is 3 ohms. So if we have our 1, 2, our 3, 4, and our total, we should be able to find our 5. They are connected in parallel. So in parallel, 1 over R total will equal 1 over R12 plus 1 over R34 plus 1 over R5. And this time you're solving for this guy. So subtract these two, so it'll be 1 over R total minus 1 over R12 minus 1 over R34, and that will give you 1 over R5. So you can now solve for 1 over R5, and then you build your table again, okay, and solve it. So I'm going to stop there, because I bet you didn't do this one, okay, so... Please see, now that I've shown you how to simplify it and how to find R5, see if you can solve the rest of the chart. I'd also like you to try numbers 
four and five just because you need some more practice and they should be getting easier. I'll leave number six for now, um, but part of your homework for the weekend is numbers four and number five. Okay, the next piece that I want to move to is the new one new piece that um, we would have done today had we had class. And so I'm going to put it on a separate video, but uh, could you please take out your power sheet, which is on the, oops, on the back side of, mine's blank, on the back side of your uh, series in parallel circuit one. Okay, so this is what the next video will be on. All right.